uh, if insurance companies continue losing uh, and their performance is not improving or not improving for some uh, companies, they have no other option but to go for consolidation. But the consolidation is, is not attractive now to the, to the large players because the, the, the small, let's say, companies are looking uh, for their um, you know, market share price uh, to sell their portfolio or the company, which is not attractive at all because many companies are losing while their uh, I mean, uh, price share is, is like 10 times their book value. Uh, so it's, it's not attractive for anyone to go and merge or consolidate. The other thing that in order to consolidate, you need to see an added value in doing it. So, for example, if you are missing a segment as a company and that segment is, is more uh, uh, served in another company, that might be a good choice for the first company to merge or consolidate. But if there is no added value and the cost is very high, then there is nothing in it for the companies to go and consolidate. The other thing which will push companies to consolidate is uh, to, to, to stop uh, injecting capitals uh, as they go. And they need to look uh, into profitability going forward rather than trying to increase capital from time to time. Uh, I think there will be more um, you know, uh, uh, work in that regard uh, to improve maybe the performance of the companies. Uh, which, will, which will be maybe the, the best scenario going forward. Uh, the other thing is to introduce more, more insurance segments and enforcement in the, in the, in, in the country to avoid, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the margins, uh, the lowering of the margins actually of insurance companies. And that will hurt also the, the small companies and the large ones. But the small ones might be more affected because if they are new, then they don't take an advantage of being uh, there in the market before with a, a large client base.